Hello students, welcome to Solve Sir Classes. In continuation to the lecture series of protection and deprotection of organic functionalities, we are discussing today the amide protecting groups for amines. So, out here we would like to say that like esters, amides can also be prepared by reacting the amine with acid chloride. That is, we can prepare something like RNHCOR prime and we can do that by reacting a simple primary amine like RNH2 with RCOCl which is our acid chloride in presence of catalytic amount of base. The commonly good used acyl groups are, so the acyl groups used for generating the amides out here are COCH3 also called AC or benzoyl which is COPH also called BZ or BZ okay and they can be easily deprotected by using the hydrolysis strategy okay so if you want to deprotect them and regenerate our desired amine, so we will be using acidified water in presence of heat. Okay. So out here, the amides generated, if we write them as in their structure so if our amine out here is suppose this one okay that when it reacts with the acid chloride say this one so out here what will be formed we will say and wherein the R prime can vary as we have discussed it can be CH3 so we will say the amide in that case is something like this or can also be called as like that and in cases wherein it is pH then in that case we will say that it can be also represented as like that. Now another strategy of protecting amines is by forming carbamates. Now, whenever we are talking about carbamates, we mean to say a molecule that has the formula RNH CO2 R prime and these are widely used in protecting amines especially when we are dealing with amines of amino acids. So used when NH2 is a part of amino acids and we are 
considering synthesis of peptides. So for that, what kind of groups that we use? So one of them we are mentioning over here, the tertiary butoxy carbonyl can be represented as CO2 TBU or also called as BOC. is used and this is generated how by adding di tertiary butyl dicarbonate and base to the amine. How they are removed? They are removed via acid hydrolysis. So that is one of the strategies that is using Bok or we can use the carboxy benzyl unit which can be represented as CO2CH2PH or also called as CBZ or simply Z. That is, that is how we abbreviate it. So this is introduced how? Via the reaction of amine with benzyl chloroformate. that is B N O C O C L and obviously in the presence of a catalytic amount of base. How is it removed? Removed via using catalytic hydrogenation. So let us use line diagrams to explain the strategy. Suppose this is our amine and we have used Bach. So this is our reagent. I mean, that is how it looks. Obviously there is base and the carbamate that will be formed will be obviously having the following structure also represented in the abbreviated form as if we have to deprotect uh, or deprotect the carbamate and regenerate the amine then we will be using the acid hydrolysis for the other strategy we have discussed then therein we are using Cl COOCH to PH that is benzyl chloroformate in presence of base 
that leads to the formation of this particular carbamate and which can be subsequently deprotected using the hydrogenation process as shown over here. This particular carbamate can be represented as CBZ or as we have said we can also call it as instead of CBZ we can call it as simply Z. So this is basically a strategy in which we are protecting an amine as a benzyl carbamate and then deprotecting it to regenerate the amine. One unique example in which <clears throat> we are discussing the what happens when we protect a amine. So suppose there is a aniline and if you are treating this with Br2 in presence of acetic acid then out here all the active positions that is 2, 4, 6 will get attached to Br and electrophilic substitution reaction is taking place out here. However, if we were to protect the aniline using acetic anhydride in which we know when aniline NH2 is free then it is a powerful electron donating group however when you acetylate the aniline and synthesize acetanilide in which this is a moderately activating group that is the lone pair cannot be completely given to the benzene ring because it is also shared with the acyl group over here. So in that case it becomes a weakly donating group or a moderately donating group. So if you use the acetic acid and bromine then out here only substitution reaction that is aromatic electrophilic substitution reaction takes place in the para position. Nothing happens in the ortho position because of steric hindrance and subsequently if you want to deprotect it then you treat it with concentrated HCl in presence of ethanol and only the para bromo aniline will be produced over here because of the weak moderating ortho para ability of the amide group over here okay so this is one of the synthetic strategies that one can use by protecting amines and have things in his own advantage keep visiting sarasa classes this is dr sarkar over here saying goodbye thanks for listening have a great day